Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain the syntax on how to run a Perl script. Firstly, to identify a Perl script, the extension has to be .pl or .pm. The first line of the Perl script has to be a shebang. It should be followed by hash exclamatory mark followed by the Perl interpreter path. To know the Perl interpreter path on your Linux systems, just type which and then the Perl. You will get the interpreter path. Thirdly, how to run a Perl script. If you want to run a Perl script on Windows, just open the command prompt and give Perl the followed by the script name. On Linux systems, just give Perl and then the script name. The second way to run a Perl script on Linux platform is that just use dot slash followed by the script name provided the script name has to be in the permissions of 755. Perl also can be executed in an interactive mode. I am going to explain that in practically. Last but not the least, every line in the Perl script has to end with a semicolon. Now let us take a practical example. Now let us create the first Perl script and check the syntax. I am going to create on a Linux platform in an improved version of VI editor. Name the file as test. Extension have to be .pl or .pm. .pm means it is a Perl package module. .pl means it is a Perl script. The first line has to be a shebang where it always starts with hash followed by exclamatory mark and then the Perl interpreter path. To get the Perl interpreter path there are two ways by using which command or by using where is command. This is the Perl interpreter path. This makes our shebang. Let us print a message. Now run it. This is the first way to run a Perl script. The second way is by using dot slash followed by the script name. If you see here it says permission denied. Let us check the permissions of this file. To run the script in this manner you have to ensure that the permissions of this file are 755. For this change the permissions of the file. Now try to run the script in the second way. You can also run Perl in interactive mode. For example, Perl minus E. This is nothing but a Perl one liner which just prints this message. To check the syntax of the script, Perl minus C, the script name, minus C is the option. And also ensure that inside your script every line is ending with a semicolon. 